as I mentioned when we first started painting the glass, what you do is you paint what's behind it, which we've done, what's in it, and then you paint the back plane of the glass. So our light is coming in from the upper one-fourth on that right side, but what happens is the light is going to strike the back plane of this glass and we have to skip over that little bud because the the bud is in front of the back plane. So adding just a real, real subtle little shine using warm white, white that has a little bit of yellow in it. Just a brush that the first application that I put on had just no paint in it at all. Now what we have is the light is going to strike in the upper one-fourth on this glass, divide the glass in half, divide it in half again, and then following the outside edge start the shine. Again, no paint on your brush. And what you'll notice is that this shine will go right over the top of the flower. And that's somewhat by design, or I guess totally by design, because it gives it something to, to bounce that, that shine off of. I'm going back to that original light area. A little bit larger, but it is contained within that first application of paint, that film that's back behind. I'm using just a little teeny tiny filbert, actually a two. You can use a small flat. You definitely want to have a shine going across that flower because what that does is it pushes those objects back inside of the of the container. A little bit of light getting caught on this area just to show some form. 